So let's make this awesome bun recipe for ourselves. Let's make it simpler. These are the ingredients that you'll need to make it yourself. Okay, foodies, so now that we're out of the ingredients zone, so now let's make the bun recipe. So we're gonna start off by heating up our guineas. And if you don't have guineas, you can use malta. And the reason we're heating the guineas is so that the ingredients can dissolve properly. And we're adding in our brown sugar. We're gonna let this stir, then we're gonna add some melted butter. After the melted butter, we're gonna be adding in all the wet ingredients, our vanilla, our almond extract, our rose water, any liquid spice that we have, we can add it. And we're adding in some browning, and this is a grace browning, of course. Then we're gonna be adding in some molasses, careful not to let it slip out of your hand. So we're bringing in about some molasses, and we're gonna allow this to dissolve. Afterwards, we're gonna reduce the fire and remove Alright, so you're gonna get a clean bowl and then we're gonna whisk out our flour. And the reason why we're whisking in the flour is so that we can remove some of the lumps, incorporate some air into it so that the bun is light and fluffy. So this stage is a dry ingredient stage. So whisking out the flour, adding in our baking powder, our salt, our cinnamon. You can also add the nutmeg at this stage. I didn't do it, but you can do it at the nutmeg as well. Then we're going to combine everything and then we're gonna transfer it to our liquid ingredients. We're gonna combine everything and then we're gonna transfer it to a grease baking loaf pan and we're gonna bake it. So we're gonna add the soaked raisins at this point. I have some raisins and some mixed peel that I've been soaking in some red wine. We're gonna add that. I'm gonna be adding in two mixed egg and you can add this at the wet stage as well but because the mix was still a little bit warm i didn't want to add the eggs as yet so greater in about half nutmeg and then about half of the lime Okay, so now that the bun is ready, we're gonna slice it up. It's still a little bit warm, so it's gonna fall apart a little bit, but you can see the moisture of the bun. And it's so good to make it yourself, to make the homemade bun. You know exactly what is in it. No preservative, no additional ingredients that you may be allergic to. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.